Hi guys, today um, I'm kind of bored so I'll just do a little another mini charm update and my videos are really short by the way but whatever and um, oh this isn't a charm by the way this is a remit um, but I really like to play with it so okay so um, these charms took me about like an hour total to make all of them so um, I just made them yesterday and if I can find them that would mean the world to me. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so I'll start with the figurine, which I showed in another video, but I deleted it because it was really short. It's this uh, Mamagoma, and basically what it is, is there's a Mamagoma stuck in a um, <laughs> donut because it's really fat. These are supposed to be chubby Mamagomas, but they looked kind of weird when I made them chubby, so I made them a little less chubby but still real it's like a ball with a tail <laughs> it's kind of like um uh, i used to have a rabbit and whenever it scratched up together it looked like a ball and it's so cute um if you guys have pets like that you know what i mean so um anyways this guy is taking a piece of donut uh of the donut here and it's just a small little figurine because um yeah and i think my figurines have actually gotten quite neater so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, okay, so other things. I need to find them first. Uh, oh, okay, so I made this poo out of um, some scrap clay I had. And it's a little translucent and it has a really cute smile and the eye pins there. And by the way, I've been securing eye pins with translucent liquid Sculpey recently and it works really, really well. So, um, I suggest you guys to do that if you have it. You just dip it in the translucent uh, liquid Sculpey and put it in. It, it stays in so much better. It's, like, amazing. And then I have this little Mickey Mouse donut remit, which I think turned out pretty good. It's a really perfect size for a phone charm. Um, I also have this mini Fran. And, uh... I don't know why it's so like nasty looking like it was supposed to be a bright yellow I think it's because I accidentally bought uh, the wrong kind of clay I bought um, translucent so it looks kind of really weird but I'm gonna paint the bottom afterwards so it doesn't look so retarded um, and I use translucent liquid Sculpey again for the um, the, 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 the brown part which looks like all of it but trust me it's there um and it just so happens that oh yeah um i got i, re I strongly recommend translucent liquid sculpey for um anyone who's doing polymer clay because it's really useful and then i have this which didn't turn out as well as i thought it would turn out um i haven't glazed it yet by the way none of my trans have been glazed yet it's this little, um, thing, a uh, little, like, platter, I guess. You know when you go to, um, dim sum, uh, I'm gonna say it, the American way, dim sum, um, you have these little things filled with, um, buns. This is what it is, and I use pastels, and they have little faces, and the leaves are meant to be, like, um, arms and the back is translucent liquid sculpey as well like the little um i mixed in pastels with it and it's really shiny and uh it does not look as well as i thought it would be i textured the this part originally really well the platter really well but it just did not turn out as well as i thought it would so um a little disappointed on that but overall pretty happy with everything i made so um thank you guys for watching and why okay oops there you go thank you for watching and i hope you like it bye